Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to create a professional looking storyboard for free. If you're a filmmaker, one of the most important tools and things that you need to learn is how to create a storyboard. And the reason for this is because it gives you a clear idea of what you're gonna be filming but not only for yourself, but for your client, either if you have a client or you don't. The reason why you wanna do this for a client is you're the creative, the client isn't. And you need to show the client in the best way possible before you start filming and wasting time and money what the final product is gonna turn out to be. Let's dive in and I'm gonna show you guys right now. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to canva.com. Now I'm not sponsored by Canva in any way, shape or form. This is just a site that I use because it's been very handy for a lot of things that I do, including creating storyboards. You're gonna to have to sign in and create an account, but that's okay because you can have a free account. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna be on this landing page and you're just gonna type in storyboard and I have it right here. You're gonna see on these pages that there's a bunch of different types of ones. If you have a free account, you're gonna be limited, which I have a free account. So we're gonna be limited on the exact storyboards we can use. The ones with the dollar sign right here, you have to pay for those. The ones with the crown, you have to have a certain membership for. So we're gonna just stick to the free ones and that's totally fine for what we need to do. Um, we're just gonna use one of these really simplistic ones right here. And I'm gonna say, customize this template. I do a lot of product commercials. So the storyboard that I'm gonna be creating today is going to be for a coffee commercial. You can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna type in the first one and say coffee, coffee co. Let's just say that's storyboard one. All right, and then I'd say by Austin Paul, Easy peasy like that. So to simplify this, a storyboard is, again, just how to show your client or give yourself a better, better understanding of how you're going to film this process and put it onto paper. What you have in a typical storyboard is you're gonna have your images and these are example shots. So you're gonna to try to find something that's close. It doesn't have to be exact. A lot of people draw them. I'm a terrible drawer, so we're not gonna be doing that, but that they have an option on Canva to do that. And then it's gonna have descriptions of what the shot is to give a better understanding. Not only for yourself, but say if you have a DP or just for the client itself, this just helps explain that. And we can break this down. So each storyboard is a little bit different with the text down below, but you have your image like this. So this is a establishing shot of this scenery or view. So I wouldn't say long shot, you can if you want to, but I'd say establishing shot and then in the action right here, you're just gonna give a little bit of detail into, you're gonna give a little bit of detail of what's going on in that shot. The next is you can have camera movement and location. For a product video, we're gonna get rid of these locations because I don't need these. So I'm just gonna delete these all off right here. Boom, boom, boom. And we're really just gonna start fresh. I'm gonna select on the first image like this. And since our background is white, I'm going to make this just an off gray by going like this. And this is gonna be our first image blank canvas that we're gonna work with. Now, what's cool about this, again, like I said, is you can draw if you want, and I'm a terrible drawer, but if you feel like you're great at drawing, you can select your color, your pen tool, and like say that we're gonna use black and go whoop. And there's a person smiling, but again, very terrible at doing that. So you can just go undo, 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 undo. Again, we're gonna be doing a coffee commercial. And for example, I may wanna start with my establishing shot of my product. So I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna say coffee. And look at all of these. So you can get some graphics in here. Now, again, you're not gonna be able to use all of them because some of them cost money but you can start looking through and find the ones that you wanna use. You can pay for their membership. I have no clue what it costs because I've never used it, but we can just go in here and we can keep looking. We can keep looking and try to find something. I'm looking for a coffee bag. So maybe I need to be a little bit more specific. And here we go, cool. And we're gonna use this one right here. And we have it right in here. So for my establishing shot, I'm thinking either I wanna have the product slide in, or I wanna push in, or I want it to drop down. I want it to be revealed into this scene. The next thing I wanna do is I'll probably want to build out my scene a little bit. So I'm gonna move this off to the side for a second, right up here. And I just wanna have a horizon line just to give a better understanding of what is going on here. So I'm gonna to go to 
line and we're just gonna put in a line out of shape perfect this line pops up this is gonna be our horizon line we can make it smaller if we want to we can make it bigger line color line style um, so let's bring this down to a two maybe let's bring it down to a one and boom now we have a horizon line that just helps a little bit with this and then we can shorten if we want and make sure that it's even but now we have say for example the top and bottom of our uh, scene now let's bring this coffee bag back in and I'm gonna show you guys some cool things the coffee bag is behind here right now but what we can do is we can go to position and we can bring to front and now look at that we're already building our set we have our ground we have our background and then what's really cool about this program is you can go to animate and say you want to do different things say if i want to zoom in i can just use the the breathe tool so look at that so now it's like pushing in and then we write in here this is establishing product medium slash close boom boom i wasn't looking when i was typing and apparently i can't type but medium close and then action um coffee bag on table as camera pushes in and then we can even say push in so there's an example and now it's very easy when our client looks at that they're like oh here's the table here's everything our product is pushing in it's nice and simple it doesn't have to be super complicated now that works and there's a bunch of other ones you can do like so look at this one this one slides in like that but say you want it to um you really want to do it yourself you can even create your own animations so for example i can go like this and then we can just draw a line and i can go like that and then have it go off the page like that and you can go to smooth you can change the speed you can make it steady so look at that really cool right so it does it all by itself and then I can say done. What's cool, again, like I said, is you can select different ones. Here's pan, here's rise. You can kind of just change it around to what you want to do. Um, it looks like you have to upgrade. That's how they get you to do different animations, but you can even create and draw your own animations just like this and then go like this and then boom and go smooth. And then if you want to do that in reverse, obviously, you would just start with the object off here, but then we can go and check this out. So we can go to share and then we can go to present and then we can go to present. And then as you can see, you have it animating and you can show it like that. So we have our first shot and that's how I would build our first shot. So that is one example of how I would create a coffee commercial, but check this out. Say you're working with a specific brand. We can just go into, let's just make up a brand. I don't know any off the top of my head. Head. let's do uh, Folgers coffee can like this amazing and then we can go to images right and we're just gonna find one that looks all right oh look and it's all already a PNG so we can save this image right and say I'm doing a commercial for Folgers I'm gonna save this then we're gonna go back over to here and we're gonna go to upload and then I can upload files like this. And now we have a PNG. And then say we're doing our next one. Right? And now we have this. And we can bring it on in like this. And look, here's our coffee can. And we can do the same thing with it. We can actually animate this as well. So now we're pushing in on our Folgers can. But this is just to give you an example. If you don't want to use their elements, you can build your own elements as well. You could even do, say, a uh, product background. Beautiful. And then you can just use these as examples. Maybe I want my product to land on this. Obviously, you have to pay for this with Shutterstock. But, you know, we can just do this example image and we can save it and go to this. We can go back to uploads and we can go to upload files like that. Boom, boom. And one of the issues you're going to, you might have while you're doing this is you try to bring this in and now it wants to replace the image. So what you can do is click on this, right click and go to lock 
and now the backgrounds are locked in and now we can place the product like that. And then you can say folders can uh, lands on top of pedestals. So we can start like this, right? Put it right here and we can animate it like so. Go to, oh, we have it on breathe, but we can have it rise or we can create our own animation. So if I was gonna create my own animation, I go like this right and then I'd say create an animation and I would just go like this and drop and beautiful then you have it right there so when you go to share and then present present you're having it land on the pedal stool and that's a very clear example for your client to understand what you're doing in your film and that's super helpful and you have this whole background bet built and it makes it so much easier. And then when you send this to your client, they're like, wow, this person's very professional. We know exactly what we're gonna get. I cannot recommend this enough of how important this is. I'm gonna show you guys another example of something that I do. And as you create more videos, or you can even find examples of other videos online, is you can screen record by going up to, I can't do it right now because I'm actually screen recording, but you can go to QuickTime by clicking on this and go, QuickTime player, and then you can go to file, new uh, screen recording, which is right here, but I am recording at the moment. And then you can record different videos and you can put them in to say Premiere Pro and create a GIF or GIF, I don't know how you say it. And these take a little bit more energy, but for example, say I wanna do a milk pouring shot. I can show this as an example, and this will be on repeat for my clients. And then I can say push in and I can say um, shot close up like this, right? Um, camera follows milk being poured into coffee like that. And then this is a um, I'm gonna call it a drop shot like that. And then it will just be on repeat like this. And this is a very easy way for your client to understand what's going on. This is how I would do pretty much all my storyboarding for my commercials. And eventually you'll get something that looks like this. And that's it on how I create storyboards professionally for free for my clients and for myself. It's super easy. It just takes a little bit of practice, but this is so much better than trying to draw it out if you're not an artist. And this will clearly, clearly, clearly demonstrate to your clients what they're gonna expect for their video. Again, the tip to this is just to make this as simple and clear as possible and give a good visual representation for you or your clients or whoever's working on this project with you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you guys wanna learn more about these types of tips and tricks. And until next time.